So you know the, the CE market's been 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 always uh, pretty small. Yeah? So if you, if we compare the the real estate CE markets to Western Europe, uh, so this is only a, a a very small piece what we what we what we see in, in Western Europe. So therefore, that small size of the market combined with this dynamic growth, economical growth, uh, leads finally only to to to, to one. Uh, outcome which means that, that this will also grow accordingly and with a higher dynamics uh, than we, we see it you know in the Western Western European countries. So this sector developed also pretty strong since 2009. So if we, if we, if we look to the secondary cities, especially if it comes to the office sector, before 2009, there have been no offices in the secondary Polish cities uh, due to BPO, shared services, shared services. Uh, this sector improved significantly, and if it comes then to the financing, for us as a as a lender, the size of a market plays also a, a, a important role. So, if you are lending to a city where you have 20 or 30 thousand square meters of modern office stock. Uh, we consider it, of course, as more risky than, than, than lending into a regional city which has uh, 500, 600 uh, thousands of square meters of modern office stock. No? And this is going to happen in these regional cities. So uh, we, these days, we have no uh, restrictions uh, if it comes to our lending policies. So we're lending to Warsaw, we're lending to, to secondary cities, we're lending there if it comes to, to the asset classes, so it's office. It's, it's retail, logistics, of course, all over Poland. Uh, and I would say this is a sustainable and, and a good development for our clients, for the investors, for the developers, that also banks like, like we, cross-border lenders, are active not only in the capital, but also in the secondary cities.